It's 138 years since they played the first international at the old Lansdowne Road, and welcome now to the newest international rugby venue in the world, the Aviva Stadium, staging this first match between Ireland and South Africa, and the winner will be... Ireland. Ireland. Confident. For South Africa, the uncapped Patrick Lambie is a fantastic talent waiting to be unleashed with a win against the world champions. Both sides in need of a win as Jonathan Sexton gets this Guinness series underway. Four weeks of tests for Irish rugby and alongside me, the Rugby World Cup's 1991 top point sport scorer, former Ireland at half, Ralph Keyes. Change coming for South Africa, by the way, Pat Lambie's gonna get his first international cap. Is it gonna happen before the line-out? Yes, it is. Lambie out in staying out. Well, what a moment for the youngster from the Tal Sharks. Only, what, 20 years of age? More on him in a minute. Oh, Best and Ferris almost combined to send Stephen Ferris away. A couple of phases of possession without a turnover or a mistake of some description. Lambie. Too slow, eight. Lambie. Too slow. South Africa getting advantage. Jamie Heaslip, the man who's been penalised for Ireland, and South Africa get the penalty. Lambie will now take the kicking duties over from Marnie Stain. And if you're 20 years of age and you're an out, outside half and you're coming on to make your debut, the pack you like to come on behind is the South African pack delivering a performance like they're delivering in terms of power play. Because you know you're going to get the armchair ride. You know you're going to get a comfortable debut. And uh, this fella has plenty of talent. And as you say, they are really hopeful of great things from this guy. He won't be rushing to the video recorder to have a look at that one. Shakes the head, maybe a wry smile, but... Just dragged across it, really snatched at it. Ball there for Pinar, Lambie, De Villiers, Matfield out wide. Lambie. Matfield again, this time he's missed, here's Kirshner, Aplon comes back on the angle, the big gap opens up, and the simplest of tries for South Africa. Lambie sets it up, surely this is it for him and his opening international points, it may well be the new man. Well, I'm sure Ronan Agar isn't thinking about it, but a milestone in his career, earning his 100th cap. Indeed, 100 caps for Ronan O'Gara. Uh, moment that should be and is marked what a wonderful achievement and a terrific servant he's been to Irish rugby and Munster rugby and still you would feel has much to offer Lambie O'Callaghan there to make the tackle ball flown there Stringer though digs it out Rory Best didn't want to know gets to Stephen Ferris if they ship it there might be room out wide he slipped instead puts boot to ball Kirshner the one that goes back, it slips away from him, Heaslip picks it up, there are men there for Ireland, Heaslip has men outside and inside, Jamie Heaslip into the 22, maybe the pass should have gone. Lambie, sort of, fly kicks it down, but it's there for Ireland. And against the backdrop of uh, fierce pressure in South Africa, he's my man of the match. And Lambie completes the job. South Africa delighted with their victory at the Aviva Stadium. In truth, they deserved it, despite the valiant attempts of Ireland in the last 10 minutes when they woke and played the final score at the Aviva Stadium. Ireland 21, South Africa 23.